If I remember correctly, the last time we saw Tumba was when Tristan had him on that termite mound, which was a couple of weeks ago, several weeks ago. Yeah, early Jan, if I remember correctly. And I'm over the moon right now. Yes, he's pretty, hey? There's a nice yawn, so he's probably going to get moving at some point. Now, Jandri and I actually want him to stay in the tree. Um, we want him to stay in the tree until the sun starts setting, giving us those beautiful colors that it's going to do this evening so that we can do a nice shot from there. But I don't know if that's going to happen. We'll have to wait and see. But that's on our wish list for this afternoon. So everybody, this is my first time seeing Tumba. He seems intent. There looks like there might be some uh, prey species that are about he might be interested in but I would be interested to know if any of you the viewers have any stories of Tumba that you'd like to share with me hashtag Safari Live on Twitter or on YouTube chat and I would love to hear them and of course he's perched in a beautiful marula tree I, get, we, I got so used to doing bingo for our TV show that I keep keep thinking to myself, oh, leopard, marula tree, bingo, bingo. Steffi, if you're, wa if you're watching tonight, I hope you get a, uh, a good sighting like this on your trip that you won. H. Macy, you're saying he looks super healthy. I would agree, H. Macy, he does look super healthy. He's definitely seen something that's interesting to him. The wind is blowing his scent towards us, so whatever is interesting him is upwind of where he is. There's a slight swirl to the breeze. But you see that, you see how he's sort of moving and also intent. It's interesting because I think whatever he can see, which I can't see from where I'm sit seating, sit sat, where I'm sat, um, yeah, maybe Jandre might be able from his angle, uh, is if, if he moves out of that tree, it might see him. So I'm not quite sure, or it could just be farther off, because he is perched quite high. Could be Warthog, could be Impala. This would be my guesses. Could even be something like a Diker, or a Steenbokey. I'll have to wait and see. The anticipation. So, I was planning on staying this spot and then moving around to the other side but I think because he's definitely staring at something I'm not going to move too much I think I'm just going to stay here obviously I don't want to interfere with anything and we do have a nice view of him whatever he can see now it looks like it's moving more to towards in front of us we've got Tax and his guests are with us now as you know Tax and I do a lot of work together on game drive James Richard, interesting, you're saying it looks like Shadulu female, so James Richard, the update that I got about this being Tumba is from one of our guides who guides every day, and he's saying that it was Tumba, um, so I will have to wait and, and see if I can see male parts there, but um, James Richard, I know you know the leopards very well, the other guide also knows them quite well, so I don't know who to defer to on this subject, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so now we have a few other guesses here. That's actually quite a nice view. Taxon's just busy with his guests, so I can't triple check. But James Richard, if you're saying that, yeah, uh, if you're saying that it looks like Shadulu female, I think I might actually defer to you for the moment. Shadulu female is also a female that I haven't seen, so I'm not gonna. I'm still excited. And I don't have any, and I have, uh, I have no reference for spot pattern with Shudulu female or with uh, Tamba. Now that this leopard has turned around out of its little sort of branch there, you can see that it is definitely a female. So James Richard, yeah, I'm going to go with you on that. Well done. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody. Again, this is why interactive and live safaris are so good. That was a big pause for a female. How, James Richard, how old is Shadulu? If you don't mind my throwing a question back at you. It's a nice shot, Chandra.
Crystal, you're saying Ingrid Dam, young female. Crystal, as far as I know, Shadulu and Ingrid Dam, young female, are the same leopard, if I'm remembering correctly from the newest updates I was given. Thanks, James Richard. You're saying definitely Shadulu. I'm going to defer to you. Thank you very much for that, everybody. So this highlights a really interesting uh, subject that comes up. And it actually came up a little bit with the Hukumuri story, and where does Hukumuri come from, and why was he misnamed, etc., etc. So, look, most of the guides that I work with at Wild Earth, well, look, all the guides that I work with at Wild Earth, but also most of the guides that I work with just on the properties where we traverse are extremely professional and are very good at what, at what they do. Um, but again, we are also just human, and so we, we do have times where we'll say, oh, look, it's so-and-so, and it ends up being, being something, something else. All right, that's, that's the first thing being said. The other thing that I just want to point out with regarding that is sometimes what ends up happening is you get a lot of uh, either new guides, new to guiding, or new to an area, and you'll sometimes end up with scenarios where um, you're still busy learning the leopards, and they they can be mixed up. And I actually think that that's what happened with Hukumuri, um, regarding that, and then it just sort of stuck around for a little bit, and then that that's why it is it is what it is. I've also worked on properties where we have leopards that overlap uh, different properties, and on each single property they're called something different. 